always act like it's the end of the world if we run out of toilet paper. Yes. Like, who likes who running out of toilet paper? Saying, especially like, if you got to go. <laughs> no. I mean, come on, man. Say you was at the last roll, right? Last roll. He act like it's, he about to die. Like, it's the end of the world. Like, somebody, You're I don't, damn right. he just, and then. Listen, somebody told her earlier to kick niggas in the nuts, because that's all she used to do. <laughs> yeah, but look. I don't know how many times she kicked me in the nuts back in the day. It's only right that she got to see him later on in life. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all too, women. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a lady. I mean, I, I, I love my lady. White. Ah. <laughs> Yo, did y'all hear that? I'm a ladies. Yo, uh, what? Yeah, uh, I meant. Uh, 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 shut up. Shut dang. up. Dang. Dang, dog. This is real. You attacked in the mukma. <laughs>
so I upgraded this to Canon T7i, which is a decent camera. All right, y'all. So let's get into what we did last night, which I wish I would have went live. But who seen the um the fight last night? It was with um. Hold on, let me remember. Wet fight. Let me remember the names. It was with um. I know it's Crawford. It was four fights. And in Mir. Yeah, but who cares about the rest of them? I'm talking about the yeah, main okay. fight. <laughs> talking about Crawford and Amir. Amir Johnson? Is it Amir Johnson? No, that was that, I just totally butchered. Amir Khan and Terrence Crawford. There you go. All right, so automatically I voted for Crawford. He always likes to be the rebellious one and goes and votes for Amir. I like to play devil's advocate. He always if Everybody rooting that. for one guy, I, I go with the other guy. Just but why? Guy. He knew he was going to lose. Because. Mind you, let I me like tell you. I like everybody else do. I don't think Crawford is that good of a fighter anyway, right? Don't think he's that good of a fighter. Um, so I feel like he, all right, he, top 10. he was the better of the two. He was the better of the two. He top five in his weight division. He just ain't number one. I think Earl Spence is that dude at his weight. At his weight. Yeah. I think he could probably beat Lomachenko. Even though Lomachenko, I think, is a weight division under him. He had to drop weight in order to fight Lomachenko. Here's something, though. Norman gets mad. Ooh. Oh. Normie gets mad at me when I just vote for the Puerto Rican dude. He felt like I yeah, vote like for she him. she'd be rooting for a Puerto Rican dude just because he's Puerto Rican. Never seen That's him not fight. True, Never seen him fight one time at all, yo. Big up, big up for my Puerto Rican fighters. Y'all can fight, but like, yeah, sure that she die hard. Like, as soon as she see the flag, she's like, "Oh, I'm going for him." No, that's not true. Let me tell you. Yes, what it is, it has, it has to be balanced, right? If it's a bunch of people and they voting for the other guy and it's that one Puerto Rican up there, of course I'm going for that one Puerto Rican. Of course. Why not? Not me, dog. I need to, I need to see him fight first. Nope. You ain't see, um, well, no, you just see a mirror fight, but he was wet. And you knew he was wet. So anyway, we bet it and guess what? Guess who won? We bet it. Is that a word? She won. She won the bet. I won. Amir got tattooed in the nuts. You want to tell them what the bet was? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all. Let me just tell y'all this. Parental guidance, right? Is it parental guidance? Yeah, I'll show ain't for kids. Yes, it's not for kids. Maybe I teenagers. Mean, maybe teenagers. Possibly if you're with them and, you know, 18, 19 years old. But nobody under 10. Yeah, shouldn't be should be watching the show. Um, y'all know, y'all know that he love talking about sex. That's all he want to talk about. Hey, barbecue sauce from a hash brown, y'all. From my DNA. Yeah, from my daddy. Shut up. I do. All right, y'all. So the other thing we're gonna talk about is tell us some. Tell us some pet peeves of your spouse. Look at that bacon. Or your y'all. significant other. Nice bacon clump, ain't it, y'all? That's one of the pet peeves right there. I hate when he do that. When I'm talking and he just interrupt me and act like what I'm saying. If y'all watch our show not, any If y'all time, watch it, y'all know that this, he do it all the time. Nah, that's a lot. If they watch our show, they know you do it all the time. Anyway, one of my biggest pet peeves about him. Uh-oh. Uh, Yo, y'all. When we started this show, we was like, we ain't gonna tell none of our relationships. <laughs> Never mind that. And then here we go. <laughs> go ahead, I don't get it. Alright, one of them is that he always act like it's the end of the world if we run out of toilet paper. Yes! Like, who and likes running out of toilet paper? Saying, especially like, if you got to go. No. I mean, come on, man. Say you was at the last roll, right? Last roll. He 
act like it's he about to die. Like it's the end of the world. Like somebody, You're I don't. Damn right. He just he act like he act like he crazy. He like oh my gosh, and then he just fussing the whole entire time. I gotta hear him fuss about who love who. Oh oh, you know what? Hold on, I'm sorry. Before that, it was that the toilet paper had a face a certain way. Oh, that's a lie. You lying? Listen, man. Who want to be stranded on the bowl with no rope? I mean, come on. Listen, but we could have four. We could have three packs of toilet paper. He'll have a fit. That's a lie. Baby. That's a lie, by the way. <laughs> I just don't want to be left without no toilet paper <laughs> or soap. I need that syrup. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Soap. Or soap. I mean, come on, man. I'm the dude in the relationship, but I got to think about getting toilet paper and soap. They use more than I do. I live with nothing but girls. I got to be the one to buy the toilet paper and soap. How that look? You know what else I hate that he does? When we first started living together, he always had to tell me how to decorate everything. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, because who cares about that? Me. Why? We ain't about to make my crib a little Puerto Rico. I'm a black man. <laughs> <laughs> so Even though you're in, not really all black, so though. So as you walk in, be cops. Yo, let me tell y'all, he found out his mama got some Puerto Rican in him. So, in she her. Yeah, she Shout do. out, mommy. Love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his mom got some Puerto Rican. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Like, I'm, I'm kind of anal, y'all. It's from the military, so. He's like, very I do, anal. I do need to back up on, off on Very that. anal. So, what's your pet peeve about me? I don't know. There's so many. What? I hate that my baby being confident in her beauty. Oh, my God. You ain't got to go there. <laughs> baby, don't do that one. Choose another one. I don't like that one. A pet peeve. Something to make you It is a pet peeve. I hate no! when you be like, like you can't do, do stuff. And I know she can do anything she put her mind to. I, I know she can do it. So it's I hate when that. she feel like she ain't got confidence to do stuff. It's not that. Let's not talk about that. See? <laughs> you see? I'm an open book. So we talk about, oh, no! Yo, you be picking the wrong ones. You just talked about me not liking running out of toilet paper. I mean, come yeah, on. Don't not, get no more personal than it's that. It's not about you. It is about me. It's directly about me. Anyway, let's talk about the ones. See? All right, what you got? All right, so now we're about to talk about some past relationships. Uh oh. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Baby, come on. <laughs> let's just eat and get this over with. Baby, come on, man. Oh, man. Tell me a relationship that you was like madly in love with somebody and then they like really hurt you. So bad. Tell me the rela- the relationship that caused you to be a dog. I was never a dog. Oh, that's a lie. I was just a young he, man oh, trying to lie. find himself. He's a lie. That's all. He was always a dog. Y'all it's don't let him true. lie. I was never a dog. I genuinely care about people and they out and they outcome. That has nothing to do with you being a dog. Listen, man. I ain't have no good role models. Those are all these excuses. <laughs> I did. What you expect? I mean. All right, so, but do y'all think that affects who a person is in their relationship? The fact that they don't, growing up, they may have not had good role models. And so, therefore, with women, for example, if their mama was a hoe, <laughs> they, <laughs> they a hoe. If their mama was a hoe, they might be a hoe. They might have hoe tendencies. So do y'all think that though? Uh-huh. If, that, if the daddy was a hoe, what you think? Or do you think that's just depending on the person? I think it depends on what they what they got taught though. Like you could be a hoe, but if you teach your kid not to be a hoe, they might not be a hoe unless they seen you being a hoe, and then they might be a hoe. So uh-huh. the moral of the story is not to be a hoe. I mean, but. I don't know nothing about that because I was not a hoe. I was just a young man struggling to find himself. Really? Yes. In today's society. Okay. Which, you... which is over-sexualized. So 
So, but when when were you really into women and not women? When was you really into your first relationship and you got your heart broken? It was like fifth grade. It was a little Puerto Rican girl. See, he always been into no Puerto Ricans, yo. He always been into Puerto Ricans. He be looking for Puerto Ricans. Y'all, let me take y'all back real fast. We've known each other for how long? Forever. Forever. I've known him since I've been... Five. Five. I'm the girl who married her best friend's brother. Yes. Do you think stalking that? my sister to get to me. Oh, please. Oh, my gosh. Don't even go there. Kind of, sort of. Do y'all think that's crossing boundaries? Should you date your best friend's brother or sister? Do you think that's crossing boundaries? It depends if they look good or not. Baby. <laughs> anybody off of limits? Of course, you're going to only listen. date them if they look good to you. Listen, ain't nobody off limits, man, with the kind of love. You don't choose it sometimes. Choose you. We ain't really choose to love each other because honestly, we ain't like each other at all as kids. So growing up, we hated each other. I mean, he was cocky, he was ignorant, he was just acting a fool. My mama and me, my mama and I, let me stop saying my mama and me. It's a lie, by the way. My mother and I used to go over his house to see his mom. Okay, get in there. He would never say hi to us. He would never even speak to. I don't care if you don't speak to me, but you can even speak to my mom. Listen, he was a man. rude little boy. Listen, man. First off, I wasn't no little boy at that time. I was 16, 17 years old at this time, right? I knew them already because they was our next door neighbors before. They was That's always, funny. they was always at my crib. Hold on, because we didn't really tell y'all that story. So yeah, we met when we were five. Well, I was five. What you just said, you know, like when seven. I cut you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. They watch us any month. Oh, time. No. oh, hold on. I forgot. But I just had to fill that in. Okay, so yeah, I was, I was five. He was seven, and his sister and I were in kindergarten together. Okay, go on with the story. Now. You want to tell the dog? You know it. Yeah. So we were, we were in kindergarten together. And I would be over their house. They come over my house. We used to play together. He was so mean to me. He used to joke me all the time. Just be rude. <coughs> and then. It's a lie. And then. Listen, somebody told her early to kick niggas in the nuts. Because that's all she used to do. <laughs> yeah, but look. I don't know how many times she kicked me in the nuts back in the day. It's only right that she got to see him later on in life. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> so he would always pick on me, bother me. Just be a butthole, right? Then we got a little older. We became teens. He used to talk junk to me all the time. Just for no reason. He used to tell his mama was ugly. He would never get with me. Because his mom used to be like, she's so beautiful. You should marry somebody like Stephanie. And all this other stuff. And I hated that. He hated that. Like, and, yeah. and I'm so like, man, said, look, man. She fat. Yep. She always going to be fat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going to never look good. <laughs> look. So then, when we got a little bit older... I think I got out of contact with them for like a couple of years. But then, I lost weight. You see me? Yeah, she was looking good, y'all. And he wanted me. And now, he reaping what he sold. Because yes. now, I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you I ain't nothing like the girl he got with. And that's what you get. Hey, look. Now I got to pay for all her food. <laughs> Good sense of humor, guy. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, it's crazy, y'all, how we got together. And then we had like, I had one kid with him initially, and I was like, okay. And I was not expecting the second child to come, but she came. She was liking my love tackle. 
No, he was like in my love chapter. Yeah, he's Actually, I want to shout out the Butterfly Sister Show, my baby girls, me and in India. Daddy, love y'all. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Shout out my big girl, Kevin Cole. Daddy, love you too, baby. Don't forget to check me out. Gospel Engine, SoundCloud, SoundClick. Just Google Norman.Coles or Big Code 247, and I'll show up somewhere. All right, y'all. Y'all can check me out at Instagram, at Una underscore Foca underscore Loca. Yeah. Oh, and dudes, if there's any men watching this, come subscribe. Right now, it seems like the females are just dominating. And we got him up here. You know, he needs somebody to speak for him. I, I'm the voice of the fellas because I ain't going to let y'all get away with the stuff y'all be trying to get away with. First of all, what do we be trying to get? Feminist empowerment, movement, whatever. <laughs> Still a dude right here gonna be me. I don't care what you say about me, man. Mm. <laughs> He's horrible. But we love y'all. I love y'all too, women. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a lady. I mean, I, I, I love my lady. Wife. Ah. <laughs> Yo, did y'all hear that? I'm a ladies. Yo, uh, what? Yeah, uh, I meant. Uh, 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 shut up. Shut dang. up. Dang, dog. It's real. You attacked in the mook, mom. Shut up. I meant to say, I'm for the ladies too. Uh huh. He was gonna say I'm a ladies man. Yeah, that didn't come off the tongue, right? That was terrible. Shut up, boy. All right, y'all. I'm gonna just say I'm down for y'all. I love y'all. I want y'all to succeed and be successful. Mm. That's what I meant to say, babies. I love mm. y'all. Mm. Make sure y'all comment. We love reading y'all comments. We love interacting with y'all. Make sure y'all hit the notification button to stay tuned for our latest content. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and. Lay it down. Yeah. Lay it down. Y'all, he's filling up on, on me under this. Hey. I'm just it's sheep. the weekend. It is the weekend. I'm so excited. What are y'all going to do this weekend? Huh? Wash clothes. Why well, can't get ready to go to work? Today's Sunday. We're filming on a Sunday, y'all. Yeah. This video won't be up till tomorrow. In the might morning. Up today. I might edit this. Alright y'all, right, we about to go Thank you for tuning in Yeah Listen, if y'all have any questions, concerns, comments Please let us know Yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for our lives We're going to start going live Sunday brunch I think yep. we're going to start Sunday brunch yep. Love y'all Alright y'all